guys it's Cindy today I'm going to be doing my wrap up for the month of June it is a couple of days actually the end of June is tomorrow but I'm going to go ahead and film this because I'm not going to be doing any reading today or tomorrow I'm doing a little bit of pre-recording because I'm going out of town on the 3rd and I won't be back until the 11th and I want to have like video ske schedule to go up um so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in this month I read seven books really good the calculations I didn't include the audiobook I listened to um, let me look that up really quickly okay so the audiobook that I listened to this month was we should all be feminists and that was by Chimamanda Ngochi Adichie and I absolutely loved it if you have not listened to it before it was really really good it's only 45 minutes long I listened to it on Scribd which I was able to get like my month for free and it's just so good I'm listening to the feminist mem feminist manifesto right now and I think that one's a little bit longer the one that I did the thing that I did like about we should all be feminists is the fact that it's actually like read by the author and the one that I'm listening to now is not which kind of sucks but so far I'm really liking them and if I she ever like comes to talk I really really want to listen to her because I just like love everything that she has to say she makes some really important topics I'm really liking the other one more because it's talking about how to raise a feminist daughter and some things that we don't necessarily always think about and I just highly recommend so I also read these six books which totaled out to be 1,874 pages which was 62 pages daily even though I didn't read for the last couple of days of the month. I almost dropped that whole thing. So the first book I did participate in um Cramathon this month. I tried to get my vlog footage up but like my camera is not reading my phone so I just have to like save up and I'm gonna invest in an actual vlogging camera because I've just been having so many issues and I don't like taking my Canon out because it I just get scared that I'm gonna drop it or break it or something crazy. So three of those, three of these were actually on my TBR for Cramathon so I did finish these three. The first one was Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delera. I ended up giving this a three stars. It was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. So I read, I feel like I read so much this month that kind of like some of the books jumbled up to become one book. Um, so the main character in this book is named Laurel and Laurel is given a task where she has to write letters to people that have passed away and um, it's like a school assignment and she chooses to write to like a whole bunch of different celebrities and influential people that have taken their lives in the past and ultimately she's trying to write to her sister who died um, and you're kind of just like finding out everything that happened and how she's grieving and how she's feeling about it and overall I did really enjoy it I think it being in completely letter format was really interesting um, I like kind of like mixed media stuff so this was definitely one of those things but I just wasn't that crazy about it um, because of the fact that I don't feel like her sister was ever like a really really good influence on her and she looked up to her so much and I know that's like no one's ever going to replace her sister but I just feel like some of the things that happened in the book like she put too much blame on herself and I really wanted her to like break free from that so overall I thought it was a good book but it just wasn't one that I was in love with Next I read Goodbye Perfect by Sarah Bernard. I picked this up off of Book Depository because I honestly just like really love the cover. I've heard great things about Sarah Bernard and this was my first novel of hers that I read and I have to say I was not impressed. Um, I gave this a three star but it's like a like a two and a half three star. Um, so the main character in this novel is called Eden and Eden has a best friend named Bonnie and Bonnie has ran off with her not professor her teacher and Eden had no idea and everyone just expects her to know um, this is not what I thought this book was about but I just think that their friendship was very one-sided um, I'm not gonna give too much away but I just feel like Bonnie did not give Eden anything back in the relationship that Eden was giving Bonnie and I just feel like she just wasn't a really good friend and Eden was like holding all of this all this truth and all of this um guilt on top of herself and I just feel like a friend shouldn't require you to do that and 
I just feel like she was such a good friend. She did not receive that. And because of Bonnie's character and how she was such a shitty friend, it just didn't make me be able to, like, empathize or put myself into the situation that was going on. And I also felt like she was so fucking young to be messing around with this teacher. Like, parts of it grossed me out. And I know that, obviously, it's a dark story and it shouldn't be something that everyone can like love and romanticize but it just she was too young like it made me uncomfortable how young she was like not only in her age but also in how she acted and what she thought like I don't know it made me very uncomfortable so I didn't not I just didn't like this book so now I'm jumping into my four star reads I had those two which were like three stars and then three four star books and one five star book this month so my four stars um if i was your girl by meredith russo i can't believe i haven't read this already like this was honestly like a four or 4.5 now that i'm looking back at it i really enjoyed this one like i kind of wish i had the other cover with like the trans model on the front but i really enjoyed this one i read it so fast and it really touched my heart like there were points in the books where I was like sincerely tearing up because of everything that Amanda had been through. Amanda in this book is a trans man character. Um, she was male but now she's female and she um, she's she was extremely like bullied and the kid, kids are just so cruel to her and now that she's at a new school no one knows that she was a boy before because she ha she doesn't know these people from when she was younger so she's able to like live her life but so much happened to her in this book and I was rooting for her through all of it I think she was amazingly strong and she this story just like broke my heart and put it back together and broke it again like it was just really good if you have not picked this up and it's just sitting on your shelf like mine was pick this one up I think it's a very very important novel to read if I forgot to mention this is also own voices which is extremely extremely nice so next I read or the last three books are actually just contemporary novels if you guys know I'm like all about contemporary romance right now that's kind of like my jam so I read One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid this book was so good. It is the first Taylor Jenkins Reid book that I have read. I have a couple, not have one more of her books, uh, which was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, but I haven't read that yet. And this is about a girl named Emma, and Emma was in love with her high school sweetheart named Jesse. And I always look at the back because I suck at names, if you guys know, so I have to remember <laughs> people's names. And Jesse um, was pronounced dead in a plane crash and she, you know life moved on years had passed and she ended up falling in love with this other guy um i don't remember what his name is to be honest but she found out she she was engaged to this other guy so emma became engaged to sam uh years later and she was super happy and it turns out that jesse did not die and he was actually coming back to her town and it's just her dealing with like past love and someone that she's always loved and now dealing with new love and this book was just so good i cried i could empathize with some of the stuff she was saying it was really really well written if you want just like a good book to read and one that you're going to like cry over because if you're older and you've like dealt with heartbreak and growing up and dealing with love then like you will really really like this book I think if you are a little bit on the young side I think you should wait a little bit before you read this one because it does have some sexual content as well but I really really did enjoy this and of course this is like a, an adult novel it's not like a YA novel um I actually split this up apparently I liked my adult novels more this month than I liked my YA because I read three YA and then three adult and then like one nonfiction. So next I have The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed this book. I gave it a four stars. <sighs> um, so this has to do with an interracial couple. Um, the main character, female, is black and the guy is white. Um, and her name is Alexa Monroe and his name is Drew and they basically meet in an elevator because Drew is about to go to his ex's wedding and he has no wedding date so he asks her because like the elevator breaks down and it gets stuck and um, he asks her if she could be his wedding date and then like he's like she's 
she's his fake girlfriend and it's like one of my favorite things to read about in romance and just like watching them obviously fall in love and like her checking his privilege and stuff because there was like a lot of really important topics that we're talking about that were talked about in this book not just like fluffiness um so i really enjoy this for that aspect as well and it just gave me a lot more than i was expecting i honestly didn't have like high expectations when i went to this at all so i was really excited when i finished it because i just like was smiling for so many of the scenes and it also touched so much on body positivity and I love that so much because she just wasn't your like your simple main what am I trying to say she wasn't like the standard main character that is in so many other novels she was so much more than that physically and mentally and I really really enjoyed this one now the last book that I read this month I absolutely loved it was so good I just finished this like a day or two ago and I finished it in two sittings and it just made me so happy to read and it is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang um, I've heard everyone talk about this book like everyone and I was thinking that it wasn't gonna be worth the hype because I mean everyone was giving it five stars five stars but I can honestly say that if you are a romance lover, even if you're not, just try it out. It's really, really good. Um, of course, if you're over the age of 18, because there was a lot of sex in this. <laughs> like, a lot. But uh, so much love, too. Like, if you don't know what this is about, it is about a main character. Her name is Stella, and Stella has autism. Um, she has had issues with, like, sexual experiences. She doesn't have many, and the ones that she does have are fucking horrible. Like, just not good guys and she ends up hiring an escort named michael fan and he is amazing like he's he's so dreamy i wanted to like go and follow him on instagram and like look him up because he was just like so patient with her and so loving and he just he was amazing so she hires an escort to teach her everything that she needs to know about having sex and being more comfortable with her body and it just becomes an amazing love story and I love them together so much. I think this book was so good. It is own voices as well and I just, I love it. I'm going to reread this one very soon. Okay guys, so those were the seven things that I read or seven books that I read this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have read any of these, let me know what you thought of them. Also, I want to know what your favorite read for the month of June was down below, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!